What if I told you that it was possible to let go of any uncomfortable or negative feeling that you ever experience? It could be anger, frustration, sadness, even an apathy. All of those feelings, in truth, are, are not as deep as what we've been taught. They don't run, they're really just like a soap bubble that you can pop and easily let go of. My name is Davison Yeager and I've been doing this kind of work for 25 years now and so far I have, I'm not perfect, <laughs> I have triggers still, some triggers, not nearly as many as I used to, many have completely gone, the ones that are left are much weaker than they used to be, let's say on a scale of one to zero to ten, they may, they were used to be a ten, now they're more like a two or a three and I'm still a work in progress. I'm not a guru, I'm not a saint, I'm just like you, with one difference being that I've never encountered an uncomfortable feeling in my experience now of doing this work that I haven't been able to let go of. Okay, so that's what I wanna share. Um, how does it work? Well, mostly through simply being aware. <laughs> it's it's a technique, it's not really a technique, but the technique points the mind in to look at it so the mind can see itself. Because normally the mind is operating beneath the level of consciousness. We're doing this, we're doing that, we're in the world, we're talking with this person, we're doing that. But meanwhile, beneath the surface, what a lot of people call unconscious or subconscious, there's really no such thing as unconscious or subconscious because if you pay attention to what you're doing, if you actually watch, you'll see all of your subconscious or unconscious programming at work, <laughs> in operation, in action. <laughs> okay, so when we turn the mind in on itself, so to speak, and we look at it, we look at how our mind is actually working, as soon as we see clearly what's going on, we're able to let it go because we see how silly it is or how um, how it's not serving us we we see it for ourselves not because we've read a book and the book says you should let go of things that no longer serve you or whatever that is I mean that's intellectually we understand that most people understand that this what I'm talking about on an intellectual level if you're watching this you probably at least have an intellectual understanding of it but that's not enough to understand intellectually to let go is not the same as actually looking within and doing it. So how does it work? Like I said, it's awareness. So just think of, uh, well right now, let's do, just follow along with me, do this little experiment. Just gently place your focus within. You can close your eyes if you want. It can make it easier or you can keep your eyes open as well, but you still can put your focus within and just notice what's going on notice the sound of my voice notice the sounds and the thoughts going by in your mind in, in your head notice the sensations that you're feeling in your body okay now ask yourself are you those thoughts, those feelings, those sounds, those images, those sensations? Or are you that which is aware of those sounds, thoughts, feelings, and images? I think you'll notice that you are that field of awareness. So, as soon as you realize you're the field of awareness, let's try it one more time, but this, this time we'll put it into action. See if you can bring to mind a time you had a conflict with someone in a relationship, for example. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, a family member, a friend, a colleague, whoever, a neighbor, or a love relationship, whatever way. Just see if you can bring to mind a time that you had a conflict, an argument, a disagreement, and it left a you know, residue, 
of negative feelings and resentment or whatever it did leave. Okay, so just bringing, again, gently placing your focus within and bringing to mind that, that event and just noticing what's here now. Whatever feelings, whatever thoughts that are being stirred up in this moment, just noticing them. And could you just simply allow these thoughts and feelings to be here just for now? Because they are here. So just instead of trying to push them away or get rid of them, just allow them to be just for now. And then again, notice, are you those thoughts and feelings or are you the awareness that those thoughts and feelings are appearing in or on? And just check one more time. Are you those thoughts and feelings? Or are you the awareness that those thoughts and feelings are appearing in or on? And I think again, you'll, you'll have noticed that you are the awareness. Okay, and just that recognition, that realization is already starting to create a shift. Okay, so this is how I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. There's a lot more to it than that, and it sometimes requires many um, circuits. Each time is a layer. There are many, many layers, layers upon layers upon layers within us from not only this time, but in my belief, lifetimes upon lifetimes. And even if you don't believe in reincarnation, the fact that you have a human brain, that human brain itself has been conditioned over thousands and thousands and thousands of years. <clears throat> okay, so layers and layers and layers. However, it is possible to let go of huge chunks of limitation at times, the more you do this kind of work, the, the, the easier it gets to choose freedom rather than completely identifying with those feelings and thoughts, which is our default. That's what we usually do. It's even built, baked into our language. We don't say, I feel angry or angry feelings are passing through me right now. We say, I am angry. I'm angry. <laughs> Okay, so we really identify with those feelings and that's what happens. We, we believe completely what the feelings are telling us. The angry feeling says you'll feel so much better and happier if you unleash this fury on that person and make them wrong and make yourself right. You'll feel better. And sometimes that might work briefly, <laughs> uh, but it's an illusion. It doesn't really make you feel better. We're all seeking some kind of lasting happiness and peace. We're all looking for happiness in life. But we're looking for it where we can't find it, where it can't be found. So when we let go of these feelings, we discover that the happiness is already here and now. Okay, so this is a work that I have been doing, like I said, for 25 some odd years now and a lot of it comes from my own realizations something called the Sedona method um, yogic Advaita non-duality insights hermeticism um, just various life experiences and and things that I've come to recognize that have helped me and helped the people I've worked with to get past limitations that have been holding them back and if you'd like to know more or work with me you can go to my website link in bio it's called inner alchemy I just wanted to share because I'm always talking about these things but I, I haven't done much to share that this is you know I work with people like with with this modality um, all the time so I just wanted to start making that a little bit more obvious okay <laughs> all right so that's it and see you around Instagram. Have an awesome week. Thank you.